But Jonathan, we want to learn more about the championship. And I guess the first question, why is January and February here in New Zealand becoming so important to these motor racing drivers? Well, I'm tempted to say the weather, but we haven't had quite that this year. Uh, no, it's really the experience for everyone because you can go testing in Europe, but it's only testing. If you're after more racing mileage, race starts, safety car restarts, qualifying, any um, issues like stuff that you wouldn't actually have in testing, the pressure or, or adversity with penalties and all that kind of stuff, this is, this is what you find here and that's, that's the biggest difference. Other end of the spectrum, um, a young guy that's just got out of karting and this is his first experience of car racing. And we've already had two winners uh, from that that have, have just experienced cars for the first time. As a team manager, what in the five weeks would you hope to get across and teach a youngster? The biggest thing, and that's what I tell everyone, we're all here to win, but the main focus is actually to learn. And you have to go back to Europe thinking, I am not ready uh, or a better driver than I, what I was before I came to New Zealand. And that's the biggest thing, because a lot of drivers come with expectations, obviously, which is normal. We all want to win, but it's it's really them realizing that they have they are a better driver. And, and a lot of drivers maybe have a tough time here, and then six months later, when I see them back in Europe, they say, I tell you what, actually, this was really good, because I learned how to cope with this or that situation. Uh, I didn't make the same mistake again, and all that kind of stuff. It's about making mistakes and learning from that. Well, Ollie, we're trying to get a gauge for the importance or the relevance of this championship uh, as it grows. Uh, you you know you started in karts and you've gone all the way to 3.5 and, and, and been a champion in, in all of those. How do you see this championship in terms of development of a driver? I mean, it's massively important. I think most of the people that come here have uh, you know relatively little experience in cars, so it's important. You know, before the main season starts, obviously you're spending a lot of money to go race, and you need to be prepared the best you can. And to do five weekends back to back. Um, you know, it's fantastic preparation. It's, it's a relevant car to Formula 3, Formula Renault 2 litre, all those sorts of cars. It's quite similar towards in terms of tyre and performance. So yeah, I think it's really important. Also, five weekends in a row, it gives you as a driver a chance to improve weekend after weekend and, you know, show progression over the, over the course of five weeks. And uh, yeah, it's fantastic. As you go back to Europe, have you found that this, uh, the notoriety of this series is becoming more and more? I mean, you've been around for a while, but do you, it's a small world motor racing. Do you find that, that young drivers are very much aware of what is going on down here? Yeah, very much so. It gets, it, it's more popular than we, when we first started M2 six years ago, for sure. I think the level of the series has gone massively up as well from, from six years ago. Uh, even all the teams are now doing a very good job. Um, and the drivers who come here as well, they, they, are, they are probably better than what we used to have before uh, because they have more experience in general. So you do extract more GP2 drivers and all that kind of, that kind of people. And that, that's gone, I that think that goes with the reputation that the series has in Europe. Well, Nelson, welcome to uh, New Zealand. Uh, we're trying to get an, an idea for somebody who's achieved so much in motor racing, how this championship, how you view this championship uh, and watching uh, um, obviously your son Pedro go through it. Well, it's, 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 in, it's in very good timing because we're not racing uh, uh, in Europe or another championship. Uh, it's very good, the car, the car is all, all equal, right the same. Uh, especially for Pedro, it's very good because he's running in the dry wet all the time and he will be running in the wet all the time. It's very good for learning. Uh, and uh, we tried to do this two years ago, but we have a problem with the license. and. Uh, we could only make one race, it, and uh, but I hope this year everything goes all right. And just in general terms, in just talking about drivers, what is the fundamental thing you want to get across, or you would want to get across with any driver that you, that you might want to help? Yeah, I think first of all, hard work is pretty important. Um, you've got to be willing to learn. Uh, the good guys I see out here are clever. Um, I think you've got to have skill, and you've got to have a base set of skills. But to be excellent, you've got to be clever. And you can already see that within the team, who's clever, who's not. Um, and it was something that I did. I picked up on things that other people didn't pick up on. And it's all about putting all that together. And uh, you look at the Hamiltons and the Vettels, they're just probably cleverer than everyone else. Does it make you smile, though, when you see the amount of people working and how much attention it is? When you went to Formula 3 in the UK, it was you and one mechanic and taking on the likes of Mansell and, and, and you know, Tiff Nadell. Yeah, it's uh, everything change a lot you know I think uh, uh, you can compare uh, these these here like Formula One in my times you know maybe it was a little bit but it was the same thing same organization uh, and uh, the technology is coming 
and uh, uh, more and more and the car getting more sophisticated and more difficult to to work with with one or two mechanics only you need a lot of more people